We all know this feeling, right? You try to plan things to the best of your ability and then life has a way of throwing you curveballs. I've been working on this video that I've been editing. I wanted to share it with you guys this week. And then in the middle of the night last night, I got an unexpected phone call, which then meant I had to buy a last minute plane ticket. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bring you guys actually with me on my journey. I hope you enjoy the video. As you can tell already, it's gonna be a little bit different than usual, but I am super running late. We gotta get going. With regards to where I'm going to be going, it's a country I have not been to before. It's not Indonesia, for those of you who are guessing. We're still planning on going in a few days, but this is a short little trip I need to make on my own first. And it's about an hour and a half flights from Amsterdam, which is where I am right now. And I'm wondering if you can guess where that is. So I've just arrived and it's like past 1 a.m. I'm super exhausted. It's definitely too dark to show you things outside. So I promise I'll update you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. I slept so well last night, but I'm not gonna keep you in suspense anymore. The country I am in is Switzerland. Now that you know where I am, the question is, well, why did I come here? So I mentioned I got a phone call yesterday that prompted me to buy this last minute ticket. And the phone call was from my sister telling me she had just had her baby, which is wonderful news, except for the fact that the little one was born prematurely and had to be taken to the neonatal ICU. You're such a trooper. She's such a trooper. Did you see the latest picture I sent? Yeah, she looks so cute. It's so hard seeing her through a webcam. She was like crying. Aww. The nurse is holding her. Like, I want to do this. Now everything is well with baby and with mama bear as I've been told but I figured I'd just come to visit anyway. I'm their only kind of family that lives so close and I want to meet my little niece. I can't believe you're coming. Yeah man. The plane lands at 1040. I should be there around 1130. If you follow on social media then you might know I also mentioned I just became an aunt for the first time just three weeks ago because my other sister had her first son out in Canada. I have yet to meet him but today is about seeing my little niece so I have to catch a short tram ride to get there because visiting hours start soon. I am so excited to meet the little one and let's see if I can introduce you to her too. Okay, so mom and baby are doing exceptionally well, but I need to be a little honest. I feel like this much useless just because, I mean, I'm doing the best I can to support them, but what can I do? I mean, mom feeds baby, dad supports mom, and I support to the best of my ability, but then I was just like, there's gotta be something more I can provide. And then I saw the hospital food that they provide. Not to say that it is like terrible or anything, but we all know hospital food is not a home cooked meal. So I figured I'd go out and get some groceries, which I did. I brought it home. Let's see what we can cook. So first things first, you always gotta check inventory. So I saw that they had some different kinds of dried beans here, which is awesome. I already pre-soaked them and pre-cooked them last night. 
And then they've got some spices, just some of the basic things like onion and garlic. And I'm just gonna see what I can whip together. Okay, I think we're good if we set it up here. Let's get cooking. So these medjool dates are ridiculously soft, which is gonna make it easy enough to just mash with a fork so I don't need a food processor, which is what I usually use. Sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got because they don't have a food processor. The other thing I wanted for this recipe was flax seeds, but they also didn't have that. I saw though that they had chia seeds, so I just added water to it and it gelled up and this is gonna kind of serve as an egg in these kind of plant-based dessert and snack recipes to bind everything together. All right, so we're done. Dishes are done, kitchen is clean. This is all packed and ready to go. I think it went okay. I mean, it's always more difficult when you're trying to cook in somebody else's kitchen, right? Because it's hard to find things or they might not have certain ingredients that you're used to using. But I mean, I think it encourages you to be a little bit more creative with your cooking. So I always appreciate that. So all things considered, I think we did quite well. Let me show you what we made. All right, so let's start here. These are just some chewy no-bake oat bars, not unlike the recipe I already have on the blog. So I'll leave that link for you in the description box below. This is the same thing. We've got some fresh fruit, and the main meal for today is essentially just gonna be some fajitas. So we've got some whole wheat tortillas, some store-bought salsa that's gonna go in there, as well as some homemade guacamole. These two are gonna be the main fillings for the fajita. We've got a bean filling, and we've got just kind of like a mushroom and bell pepper filling. Also some lettuce to go in there. And finally, we've got this salad that's got mung beans and apples, cucumbers, and the dressing is a curry spice mix, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and we'll squeeze on some of those limes when we're there as well. So that's pretty much it, and it only took about 30 to 45 minutes to put together, not so bad. Let's pack this up and get out the door. So life can be unpredictable sometimes, and there are certain things you just can't plan for, like having a baby come into the world much too early. And as scary as that can be, and as scary as it definitely has been for all of us, I think it's also been such a beautiful thing to see because we've seen everyone come together to help everything work out in the end. So my sister and my niece, they're still at the hospital, but they're getting better by the day. It's unfortunately my last day here, but my mom is coming to take my place, so I know that the little one is in good hands with grandma. And I also realized this is Pick Up Lime's first ever vlog. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I welcome you to give the video a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment for me in the comment section down below. And thank you for following me on this journey. All right, Pick Up Lime's signing off. We'll see you next week in Indonesia.